Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my office here on the fourth floor of the Student Union Building at Wagner. It's really my pleasure to be here with you today to talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing at Wagner, what's happening on campus, and to give you a better sense of what your sons and daughters are experiencing here in the Wagner community. I want to say to you that I'm also coming to you as a parent of college-aged young people. Our daughter graduated from college in May and is now in graduate school, and our son is about halfway through his college career. So I, I feel very, uh, very skilled in understanding the experiences of our students as well as our parents. And I'm just thrilled to be here today with you to give you a, a better glimpse of day-to-day -day life here at Wagner College. Here we are in the middle of the semester already. It's hard to believe. Homecoming is this weekend right around the corner. The leaves are turning beautiful oranges and, and reds and yellows. And the air is crisp. And the students are already talking about snow. However, we're hoping that we don't get snow this homecoming as we did last year. We're looking forward to a wonderful weekend full of events during a, a very important time for our students' connection with alumni as well as other parents and friends of our college this weekend. I come to you here beginning my second year at Wagner. I had a first year that was basically a whirlwind. I like to say that I started out with an earthquake and a hurricane within the same week followed by snow coming in October and a year full of excitement as we were renovating our iconic classroom building, Main Hall. Now Main Hall is up and running again, and it is indeed a spectacular space. Last week, we held a rededication of Main Hall building, and I have to tell you, alumni and board of trustee members, students and faculty, and community members were just thrilled to have an opportunity to walk through the building look at our new classrooms that have been totally refurbished and have a little tour of the new theater, our main theater, which is the hub of our theater department and all of the activities that our students engage in in our musical theater program. So the semester is off to an excellent start. During the summer months, we were notified of a wonderful academic accomplishments of our students and faculty. And I'd like to start today by telling you a little bit about those achievements. Our Department of Education was reaccredited by the National Council for the Accreditation of Teacher Education, and we passed with flying colors with absolutely no standards for revision or recommendations whatsoever. It's essentially the highest type of reaccreditation any Department of Education can achieve, so we're very much thrilled with that accomplishment. Also, our Department of Nursing was designated by the National League of Nursing as a center of excellence for nursing education. We are one of only 16 such centers across the United States. So we're very proud of the accomplishments of our students and faculty. I have to say that one of the key features of our program that was directly related to this wonderful designation is our focus on community education. And this is tied in so firmly to the Wagner Plan for the Practical Liberal Arts, which as you know, is our signature academic program. So we began the year on the heels of some wonderful achievements that really marked for us and signaled for us a wonderful academic year ahead. I also wanna share with you though that I had the privilege of welcoming our students back to campus this, uh, this summer at the end of August, as well as bringing in a new class during the orientation week of over 400 students from all around the country and from around the world. We were just so thrilled that we had approximately 470 first year students, which included 21 international students coming from countries as far and wide as Germany, the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, China, Canada, and Australia. We also welcomed 12 new faculty in areas as diverse as English and history, politics and government, business and chemistry. So the year has gotten off to an exciting start. Our new students, our new faculty have filled the air with lots of great energy and great ideas. The academics are, are really at the core of what I do here at Wagner College. So I do wanna talk with you a little bit about some new features 
related to our curriculum and new academic programs. So one important piece of academics is, of course, hiring new faculty. I see that as one of the most important things that I can do here as a provost. You send your sons and daughters here to experience an extraordinary education. And I know that you're looking at what do the faculty do? What do they bring to the classrooms? I hope you've all had an opportunity to look at our website and, and hear from some of our faculty themselves on some of their video clips describing their classrooms, what they do, and you, will even, you can even peek into some of their actual class sessions. So I hope you really feel the connection our faculty experience with our students on a day-to-day -day basis. So in addition to bringing in exciting, established, and acclaimed new faculty members, we also are looking forward to the future with the development of important and key academic programs that will expand our curriculum in ways that provide your students greater offerings that pique their curiosities, help them to focus on how they want to engage with the world around them, both here and afterwards once they leave Wagner, and help them to become global citizens and leaders once they depart Wagner. So here are some new and exciting programs that are in the offing for next year. We will be implementing in the fall of 2013 a new program in our School of Nursing, the Doctorate of Nursing Practice. This will be our first doctoral program here at the college. And this Doctorate of Nursing Practice program will focus on global preparedness, emergency disaster preparedness, and emerging global health concerns. So we're really looking forward to training the next generation of nursing professionals who will be well prepared to meet the challenges of providing health care globally as well as nationally and regionally. We're also focusing on developing exciting new initiatives in film and media. We're taking great advantage of our unique location, our unique and distinctive location right here across the harbor from Manhattan where so much happens in terms of the film and media industry. So in the Arts Administration program, which is one of our more, most exciting and innovative programs, we're developing a special track in film and media initiatives so that students can learn about the business of producing film and documentaries. And our new director of these initiatives, Stephen Greenwald, is developing exciting new internship opportunities for our students. We, were, we are planning to launch this new track in the fall of 2013 as well. And relatedly, and in this, we are also developing a master's program in our business school focusing on media management. Again, taking advantage of our students' interests, about taking advantage of emerging interests around the world around the import of media within the way, not only in the way we communicate with each other, but taking advantage of the fact that we are so close to New York City where so much of this is happening. So we look forward to enrolling more and more students in these exciting new programs. And we are bring, will be bringing in faculty and connecting with others in our community and in the industry who are well equipped to provide this kind of experience for your students. Our internationalization efforts are going strong as well. Tomorrow we will be signing a memorandum of understanding with the Kibbutzim College of Education, which is located in Tel Aviv, Israel. The president of the Kibbutzim College of Education, Dr. Zippy Livman, will be coming to sign this memorandum with President Garassi and with the Itali Israel General Council tomorrow. So we have many and special invited guests who will be here for this special event. This will launch our official partnership whereby our students and faculty at both institutions will be able to, to travel from one institution to the other to take advantage of curricular office offerings and research initiatives. We're very committed to working with the Kibbutzim College of Education, which trains over 25% of all the teachers in Israel because of the shared values and missions that we experience. A commitment to the liberal arts, a commitment to deep engaged civic and experiential learning, which as you know, is the hallmark of the Wagner plan. We, have, we are working on another important international initiative, that with the Bratislava International School of Liberal Arts, 
in Slovakia. We've been, part, we've been developing the details of this partnership over the last year. And again, the Bratislava School is a liberal arts school in Slovakia that shares many of the same values we share at Wagner. So you can sense that here at Wagner, we're, con we're committed to partnering with other schools that share our commitment to civic engagement, experiential learning, and liberal arts, but we're keenly aware of developing relationships where we have, we can complement and supplement each other's strengths and interests. And we find with these two partners, we found perfect partners who share our values and will provide opportunities for our students even greater than that which is within our own gates here at Wagner. You've heard me mention the Wagner Plan several times. And as I've said, the Wagner Plan is our hallmark, our signature academic program. When I first came to Wagner a little over a year ago, I was very much impressed by this plan. The Wagner faculty are doing what many other schools around the country see as the golden standard for developing an experiential learning curriculum that is deeply focused on connections to the wider community. It's an interdisciplinary program that spans the four years of your students' experience here. Within the first year, all students participate in the first year program, which is a series of three linked courses that form a learning community. This year, our learning communities for the first year are very much embedded in what we call the Port Richmond Partnership. We have made a commitment to a community right here at, at our doorstep on Staten Island, the Port Richmond community, which is a community that has, that has a rich history on Staten Island and then now it's populated mainly with, with working class folks, uh, with many immigrant communities from Mexico, African Americans, Latinas, and providing, provides for us lots of opportunities for students to connect with the local community and really engage in interdisciplinary efforts that provide help and for the community as well as our students. So within these learning communities, the first year, students have 30 hours of required work or research within the Port Richmond community. They focus on one of four initiatives within the community. Educational opportunity, health and well-being, economic development, and immigration. So whatever their academic discipline, there's something that is happening in the Port Richmond community that provides students an opportunity to engage in hands-on learning. And again, this hands-on learning allows us to marry liberal arts and theory in the classroom with practice and engagement in the community. This is carried over into throughout the Wagner Plan and during the sophomore and junior years, our students participate in intermediate learning communities. And their senior year in this capstone learning community called the senior learning community, which also has required hours of internship and experiential work within the community. So by the time your students graduate from Wagner College, they will have put in many, many, many hours of applied work, whether it be at an internship, at an agency, or a hospital, or a business, or a bank, or at a community agency, or during their first year program, and their intermediate learning community. Every year, our Wagner students provide about 80,000 hours of work within the surrounding communities, which we feel is a real testament to the highly engaged academic experience we provide here at Wagner. If you're like many, many other parents around the country, you want to know what awaits your students when they leave Wagner. What is the value of a Wagner education? You've made that commitment to send your sons and daughters here and for that, we are very, very pleased. And we're having a wonderful time working with your great daughters and sons. They are engaged, they are bright, they are smart. They take chances to take initiative to make a difference in the world around them. I'm teaching a class this year, I'm a psychologist. I'm team teaching a class with Dr. Rita Reynolds in history. And our class is focused on the African-American families in America. And I'm just having a fabulous time getting to know our students in the classroom. I'm so pleased when I hear a student bring up something from Ralph Wald 
Ralph Emerson or Henry Thoreau and apply it to a class on history and psychology. They're really thinking in an interdisciplinary way. They're applying what they're learning now to what they've learned in the past, which gives me great hope that they're going to be taking these types of thinking skills and integration skills with them once they leave Wagner. This is what we call learning outcomes. We measure learning outcomes here at Wagner because we want to be able to share with you and to the wider community what it is about the Wagner education that's so distinctive, that's remarkable, that will make a difference in your children's lives. There's a reason you sent your kids to Wagner, and I'm happy to report to you some data that will, I hope, will really help you to think, great, this is fabulous. This is, uh, this is an important investment. We made some good decisions here. Each year, nationally, the National Survey of Student Engagement, which is called NESI for short, asks students at hundreds of colleges and universities to think about the time they devote to various learning activities. So I'm going to be presenting some data on how our students scored relative to students at hundreds of colleges across the country. And again, I'm going to be reporting on data from, la from last year's survey, 212. So I want, I'm happy to share with you that our Wagner students scored significantly better than students at similar small private colleges in the Northeast on three important measures of active of learning. The first measure is active and collaborative learning. The second measure is student faculty interaction. And the third measure is enriching educational experiences. I, I can imagine that for all of you, these are the types of measures of college experience and academic life that are important to you as you consider what is my child getting out of this Wagner education. So I wanna break down for you some of the important data that show us that everything that we're doing here, whether in the Wagner plan, whether in the, the major, whether in the internship activities and so forth, really is boiling down to some important learning outcomes, which will hold your students in high stead when they are applying for graduate school, professional school, or going out into the work ward world when they graduate from Wagner. So for example, in the area of active learning, because we know that active learning is critical to really getting it, to really getting the information, as opposed to passive learning, when you sit back and listen and the information is just poured into you. So active learning is a real important measure of the value of an education. In terms of the numbers of students who participate in community-based projects as part of their courses, and again, participating in these community projects is an important form of active learning. We've shown that 85% of the first year service, first year students, I'm sorry, participated in service learning or community-based projects. While at the other institutions, 37% of first year students participated in these types of courses. So for the first year students, 85% Wagner versus 37% at other schools. For seniors, 75% of Wagner seniors have done so compared to 50% of seniors at other institutions. So again, here we see looking at comparable rates for students at other institutions and their freshman versus senior years, Wagner students participate significantly high at higher rates than students at other schools in community-based projects. When we think about numbers of students who apply their classroom learning to real life, through internships or off-campus experiences, again, so critical to help students to apply the theories that they learn in class to the real world. By the spring of their senior year, 84% of our students have participated in some form of practicum, internship, field experience, co-op, or clinical assignment. And lastly, in terms of how often perceive that how often students perceive that topics from class are discussed outside of the classroom of our first year students 61% indicated that they frequently discuss readings or ideas from courses outside of class. So again, here's data to show that your young people are actively engaged in their academic work whether they're in or out of the classroom. And for us, that's so critical because 
our perspective is that your child is going to leave Wagner as a function not only of what happened within the classroom, but what happens as a result of all of their experiences on campus. Curricularly, those that are related to academic courses and requirements, and co-curricularly, those experiences that are related to everything else that they participate in terms of their leadership roles and clubs, activities on and off campus. In terms of student-faculty interaction, I know that one of the most important factors you considered when you and your child were choosing which college to attend was, what is the faculty like? Are, there, are they faculty who are esteemed in their field? Are they faculty who are connected and committed to our students? Are there faculty who care about the institution? Well, I want to give you some data related to that as well. 86% of first-year students and 92% of seniors say that their faculty are available, helpful, and sympathetic. That's pretty remarkable, 86% of first-year students and 92% of seniors. And we're really pleased about that because as I said, as a provost, one of my most important responsibilities I see is to hire faculty who have these types of, of characteristics, who will really make a difference in supporting and connecting to our students. Similarly, in terms of students who work on research projects with faculty, by the spring of their senior year, 41% of our students do research with a faculty member outside of their course requirements. So again, we know that this is quite demonstrative of close connection with faculty, learning how to apply what they're learning in the classroom or in the lab, into an individual research project that reflects their own interests and initiatives. And these types of research experiences, whatever your field or discipline, really help students to develop the critical thinking skills that graduate schools and employers are looking for, whatever they decide to do when they leave Wagner. And then lastly, I just want to give you some data, one piece of data related to enriching educational experiences. In terms of the kinds of distinctive programs that are offered at Wagner that are considered high impact learning experiences. 94% of our first year students participate in, the, in a learning community. 37% of first year students at, a, at comparison institutions do. 93% of our seniors participate in a learning community, while only 31% of seniors at comparison institutions have done so. So again, you see, that we are leading the way in terms of providing innovative, creative, distinctive, and effective academic programs to our students, which really makes a difference in terms of how they fare when they leave Wagner College. I know I've shared a lot with you. I know I've, I've shared some numbers and percentages with you. I want to pause now to give any of you an opportunity to ask for questions, which you can do by typing them in on your screen. Here I have a question from someone who asks, what are the kinds of events that are possible or in the offing for parents? And I'm pleased to show you, tell you that we're developing a series of interesting and fun events for parents to help bring you closer to the experiences at Wagner and help so that we have a chance to get to know you better and you have an opportunity to get to know us. So for example, we have a dinner and a show program that's sponsored by our theater program, which by the way is ranked in the top five theater programs in the country. We also have a yearly parent welcome orientation, parent welcome reception at orientation, as well as local and regional receptions that parents around the country host, just so that they can connect with each other throughout the country. In the winter, we have an event called Winter on the Hill to which you're all invited. This is an annual event with the men and women's basketball team. And we will be sending you invitations to these specific events. I hope that you're able to find a way to come and visit your young people on campus, spend some time with them, and get to meet us and spend some time with other parents of Wagner students. Someone also just asked, how can I get involved? How can I get involved with the Wagner parent group? 
You can always volunteer for parent association events. If you just email us, email the Institutional Advancement Office, uh, we'd be happy to get back to you and connect you with others in your area or help you develop some of your ideas for what you can do with other parents in your community. You may want, to, you may be interested in hosting a reception for other parents in your area. You might be able to give us some referrals for internships. I can't tell you how many parents have come to us and said, I work at such and such company. We have an internship program. How can I connect Wagner students and the career and counseling staff at Wagner with, with my company? You may also refer prospective students to us. You may have students in your high school who are looking for the kinds of academic programs that Wagner has. It would be wonderful if you could say, you know, my son or daughter attended Wagner College in New York City. Why don't I share some information with you? You can, you can refer them to our admissions office. Just come, let us know by email. We'll make it happen and we'll reach out to those children and their families. You may want to be interested in doing mentoring, career mentoring, or doing mock interviews with our students, again, through the Career Advisement and Development Office. So there's lots of ways that you can get involved in that way, and we look forward to working with you so closely because we know that you share our excitement to support the development of all of our young people, and we really appreciate your commitment to Wagner. Let's see. Here's a, here's a good question since registration is right around the corner. One parent asks, how can I assist my child in getting read, ready to register for spring courses? I love that question because it really shows how there's a strong partnership and ongoing conversations that you're having with your young person. Talk to them about how their classes are going this semester. If they haven't declared a major yet, talk to them about what they're interested in and, and, and reassure them that if this is their senior, if this is their, I'm sorry, freshman or sophomore year, not to feel pressured to make a decision about their major. Help them to know, as we do, that the first two years of college are important times to explore your interests. I can't tell you how many students come here and say, for example, I want to major in X, but they take a course in Y and they're fascinated by it. They develop a passion and an interest that they never thought possible, but they, so they're just pleased that they took a risk and did something a little different. So talk to them about what their interests are, what really excites them. And remember that at this point, in terms of deciding on a major, it's not so important what your major is in terms of what job you get or where you go afterwards, as it is to be involved in an academic program that you enjoy. Because whether or not you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, whatever, again, Unless you're interested in going into education or nursing or business where it really is important to major in those fields in, at the undergraduate level, the importance of college is that it teaches you how to think critically, communicate effectively, orally or written, and to be able to work with people across difference because this is what employers and graduate schools are looking for bottom line. So what your major is is not as important for us as much as it is important for you to be engaged and do well and be active learners. So talk to your young people about, about those kinds of concerns. If your young people have already declared a major, they're in their junior or senior year, tell them that it's important for them to meet with their advisors, and that's the case for all, all of our students, to meet with their advisors to make sure that they're on track with fulfilling their requirements. We don't like it when our students get to their last year and they throw their hands up and go, oh my God, I still have to take X, Y, and Z requirements before I graduate, but I wanted to take these other courses too. So being aware of and focused on fulfilling the academic requirements that are so essential for you to be a well-rounded and educated person will help alleviate some of the stress associated with getting all of those requirements met at the last minute. Are there any other questions? And again, I thank you all for those types of questions. Uh, I really appreciate the kind of interest that you're showing in, in your students' well-being and in their investment here at Wagner. Can I talk some more? I'm going to share with you the email of the parents' website so that you can 
uh, contact us and become connected with Wagner and other parents. It's parents.association at wagner.edu. Again, parents.association at wagner.edu. As I said to you, this is my second year at Wagner, so I've had one full year under my belt. And every day that I drive onto campus, I still remember the first time I ever stepped foot on this breathtaking campus. That thrill never goes away, and that, that's the thrill that each and every one of us here who work here to support your students' development and academic enrichment have to provide the best possible experience for your young people. It's quite an honor to be here in this position to interact with your young people on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that your support and your involvement will continue to help them to grow more and more. Here's a, here's a question. One parent writes, my child is having difficulty finding their place at Wagner. What can I do to help her? This is a, a real important challenge. And I would say there are a number of things that, that your child can do. And again, when confronted with a situation like this, sometimes young people have a tendency to kind of uh, draw in and not talk to others because there may be the sense of, I'm not sure if that person will hear me. I'm not sure if that person really understands. What if they, I don't connect with them? What I want, want to share with you is talk to your child about reaching out to somebody, somebody that they trust, somebody that they think will listen to them. And so, for example, they can clearly come to, to any of the people who are in our Campus Life office. And the Campus Life office is on the third floor of the Union Building. Tell them it's right next to the Hawks Nest. Have them come and talk to somebody there about how things are going. Now, this area, the Center for Academic and for Center for Academic and Student Engagement is the place where we really want to support our students, whether it's in terms of their connection to the college, their academic experiences, their co-curricular or student activity experiences. We're a welcoming place where we do academic advising as well as general get to know you, what's happening here, how can we hear more about what you're interested in and help get you connected with some people with similar ideas and interests that can help ease your transition to Wagner. And transition issues happen whether it's your first semester at Wagner or your third or fourth or fifth semester at Wagner. You know, the college life kind of has a cycle. The fall semester, the spring semester of this year versus that year. We're a very welcoming place. We know that each individual has different interests, ideas, and needs, but our staff here are always here and open to hear what's going on with your students and to support them. Have them make an appointment. Have them come up to my office so that we can have a chat. You can tell your child, I heard the provost on the, on the webinar. Her name is Lily McNair. She's on the fourth floor of the union office. Send her an email. My email is on the web, lily.mcnair at wagner.edu. And I'd be happy to talk with him or her. Someone asked, what is the best day and time? Oh, no, I should ask them. Oh, well, I, oh no, right. I want to ask you, what is the best day and time for you for future webinars? We decided to do this in the middle of the day because we wanted to make it relatively easy for you to click in, whether you're at home, on the road, or at your office. We wanted to do it during the lunchtime to make it convenient. But if this is not a good time for you, please share with us through the email I just gave you, what's the best time and day for you? And we will absolutely do our best to provide future webinars at times that work for more people. And we may even alternate the time so that if you can't make this month, then perhaps you might make the one uh, next month. And please also let us know what topics would you like to hear about in the future? We have lots of people here who are willing and interested in talking to you about what they love to do at Wagner. And there's no better or easier way for you to know about what you need to know than to tell us. Please let us know. Do you want to hear 
from our assistant vice president of campus life about what's happening in terms of uh, curricular and co-curricular programs at Wagner. We work, I work with Ruta Shaw Gordon, our assistant vice president of campus life, very closely. And given between the two of us, I think we pretty much capture all the important aspects of your young people's experiences here on, on Wagner. But if you'd like to talk with anybody else, let us know. We are happy to do our best to bring those folks in to have an opportunity to engage with you through the webinar. Last chance for any other questions. If you, anyone would like to type in some questions or comments, we still have a few minutes left. We'd love to hear from you. Okay then, well this has been a lot of fun for me. I wish I could see you all out there. Uh, maybe one day technology will advance to the point where we'll be able to do that. But I look forward to getting to meet you on campus, whether it's at one of the events I talked about earlier, or if you're a parent of a senior at commencement, I'd love to see you as we're looking out across the stage and I'm shaking your son or daughter's hands as their diploma is being awarded to them by President Karasi. That's always one of the highlights of the academic year for me. So thank you so much for spending your lunchtime with us. Thank you for your interest in Wagner. Thank you for your support of your young people. And we're just thrilled that to be here to work with you to provide the best experience possible for your young people. Take care and have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you next time you're on campus or at our next webinar. Bye-bye.